everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. I'm your host, Deeper Jungle, and today I'm going to be doing a video and that's going to be a commentary talking about some of the new weapons that came to Infinite Warfare. So yeah, let's get started. So if you actually did not know, a couple of days ago, some new weapons actually came into Infinite Warfare. And in this video, I'm going to be going over my first impressions as well as some of the stats of these two guns. So if you actually want to know what these two guns are, we have the Xeon, which is actually an assault rifle that came into Infinite Warfare, as well as we have the VP submachine gun that also came into Infinite Warfare in the latest update. Also guys, before we get too far into this video, if you are enjoying it, don't forget to leave a like. Let's see if we can get 5 likes on today's video, that will be absolutely amazing. And with all that out of the way, let's actually get right into the video. And guys, since there were actually two new weapons that were added into Infinite Warfare, I'm going to be starting with the Axion, which is actually the assault rifle that was added into Infinite Warfare. And the in-game description of this weapon, and that is a full auto energy rifle, advanced recoil capacitor, provides focus hip fire, aim without sights increases fire rate, integrated optics provide enhanced detection capabilities, and that's of course the in-game description. The weapon class is of course an assault rifle. Magazine size is 30 rounds and if you want to unlock this weapon you can get it free via the season pass as well as if you want to you can unlock it via a challenge which is you have to complete 15 matches where you got kills with six different weapons. Now I actually watched a video by Prestigious Key and that is if you want to complete this challenge really fast just play 15 matches of gun game and you should be set as well as if you are lucky enough you can actually get it out of a supply box. So that means that there's basically three ways that if you want to unlock this gun and of course if if you're playing zombies, you can untame it through the magic wheel. Starting ammunition is 30 in the magazine and 60 in reserve. Maximum ammunition is 30 in the magazine and 180 in reserve. The recoil is low to medium and the fire mode is fully automatic. Now, when it comes to my first impressions of this gun, I think it's actually pretty good. When I first started playing with this gun, I didn't really think it was that good because I noticed that one of the big problems with this gun, and that is when you want to aim down sights with the weapon, it's actually pretty slow. And I noticed that quick draw really does help out with this because when you're aiming down sights, it takes quite a little while to actually get those sights up so it's actually pretty good because if you actually want to use hip fire which i think is actually kind of okay with this gun because it has a recoil capacitor which means that the hip fire is actually a lot more tight however as soon as you get your hands on this gun you will notice that if you were to aim down sights it takes a little while as well as i noticed that the sight is pretty good however it's kind of a bit clunky like it's pretty big however if you actually throw on something like a red dot sight and quick draw it's actually a really good gun and the gameplay in the background i thought it was almost borderline line OP because of how quickly it kills people. The recoil is pretty low. It does have some kick to it, like you can't hold it down all the time. However, you can get some really nice kills. It's a lot of fun to use. And frankly, it's probably one of my favorite assault rifles here in Infinite Warfare. So yeah, that's enough for the Axion. And now I'm going to be moving over to the VPR submachine gun here in Infinite Warfare. So guys, now I'm going to be going over my stats as well as my first impressions of the VPR submachine gun. So yeah, let's actually get started with the in-game description. Is a full auto ability firearm dual barrels and dual magazines provide both increased bullet down range as well as faster reloads the weapon class is of course the submachine gun magazine size is 40 rounds and 60 with extended mag the way that you can actually unlock this gun and that is you can either get it free via supply drop as well as a season pass and if you actually want to unlock it via challenges you have to win 12 matches where you got at least one kill with the XC on so that means if you actually want to get this gun and you want to unlock it and you don't have the season pass or anything like that you're going to have to unlock the previous gun to actually get this one. Starting ammunition is 40 rounds in the magazines as well as 80 in reserve. Recoil is low and the fire mode is fully automatic. Now my first impressions when it comes to this gun, I think it's actually really good and the thing that's actually pretty neat about it, I think it looks a lot like the MP5 from Modern Warfare 3. I mean if you look at the design of the weapon as well as the iron sights and the way that it acts is very similar to the MP5. In my own opinion, I think it is a very very good submachine gun. The damage is pretty high as well as the fire rate and has quite a bit of ammunition so if you want to unlock these guns i would highly recommend it because they're a lot of fun to use and hopefully maybe in the future when it comes to new guns coming into infinite warfare they'll throw in a couple more like throwback weapons like for example the ak-47 things like that that would be really awesome so yeah guys that's really been it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please remember to leave a like as well subscribe if you're new and don't forget to click the bell to get a notification every single time i upload a new video so that's really been it for this video and i hope to see you in the next one. Good job. Report to command for debrief.